Hi team, Mr. Rateau here. Okay, so let's just go on to um, let's go on to doing A-level mass quadratic functions. Um, stretch up from higher GCSE. You might have seen something like this at GCSE level. So what we need to do is this is what we call is a hidden or a disguise quadratic. So if we rewrite this as x, now plus x to the minus 1 is the same as 1 over x, which is equal to 3. So 3. Now, to get rid of the fraction, what we can do is times everything, each element here, by x. Times everything by x, and that will give us the equation x squared plus one equals three x. Now, if I bring that all to one side, I'll get I'll get x squared. The 3x goes to the other side. The opposite positive 3x is minus 3x. So I'll end up with minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. So what I end up is with a quadratic equation. Now, as you can see, you can't factorize this. So the best way to do um, solve this equation is by using the quadratic quadratic equation, which if you remember our quadratic equation is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all shared by 2a. So this is our quadratic equation formula. And all we need to find is what a, b, c is, and sub it into there. So in this case, remember, if you can't see anything there, the, this has a coefficient of 1 in front of it. So in this case, a is equal to 1. b is equal to, always take the sign in front, minus 3. And c is equal to 1. So by sub this into the quadratic equation, sub into quadratic uh, formula which is this okay so when I sub that into there I'll get x equals minus so b will be replaced by 3 so you got the minus b is getting replaced by 3 plus or minus square root of, you got the minus 3, that's going to be squared, minus 4, a is 1, c is 1, and this is going to be all over 2 times a, which is 1. If we smarten this up, we're going to end up with minus minus makes a plus, so that ends up with positive 3. A plus or a minus square root of. Now, 3 squared, minus 3 squared is 9. Two negatives make a positive. Four, 1 times 1 is 1. Times 4 is 4, so that's going to be minus 4. All over 2. Furthermore, if we simplify this, we'll end up with 3 plus or minus 9 minus 4 is 5, all over 2. You can just leave it like that. Okay, we've got two roots there, which will be x equals 3 plus root 5 over 2, and the other one is 3 minus root 5 over 2. But we can leave it just like that. Okay, let's go the next question. Um, so it goes to solve the equation x squared plus 8k squared equals 6k 
kx, giving your answer in terms of k. So first of all, let's again we're going to use the correct equation, which is I'm going to put it again here. We should have to memorize now. Minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac, all that square rooted, all over 2a. Okay, so first of all, we need to put this into the form of a quadratic, which equals to zero. So x squared, always keep x squared positive. Bring this lots of x's on the other side, so that equals minus 6kx. You've got the plus 8k squared, and now that is equal to zero. So this is in a quadratic equation form. And from here, we can then establish that A is equal to 1. B is going to equal minus 6K. And C is going to equal 8K squared. And we do, we just been told to leave the answer in terms of K. So that's fine. So let's go here and sub in the values. Now, Earlier on the side, I showed you how to sub in values here. This way, I'm going to do it a bit faster. But you should have just started doing that and getting used to what's going on here. So B is going to be negative. So it's already minus 6. So minus minus makes positive. So that ends up with 6K. Okay. Don't forget the plus and minus before the square root, as always. Now B squared is going to be minus 6K squared. So minus 6K times minus 6K. It's going to give us a positive, two negatives make a positive, a positive 6k squared minus, now, 4 times 1 times 8. So 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 8, 8, 16, 24, 32. So that's going to give me 32k squared. All over 2a, which is just 2 times 1, is going to be shared by 2. Now, let's just simplify this. We'll get 6k plus or minus. Now, 36k squared minus 32k squared is going to give me 4k squared. All over. Two. Now, when we square root in, I'm just going to do this here quickly so that we know we can separate this. When we got to square root 4k squared, what we can do with sets, we can separate that and create us square root 4 and square root k squared. Square root in the 4 will give me a 2, square root in k squared will just give me a k. Since 2 times 2 will give me 4, and k times k gives me k squared. So the square root, the third is going to disappear, and we're going to end up with 6k plus or minus 2k shared by 2. Okay, we can furthermore get rid of the 2 by half in everything, so that will give me 3k plus or minus just k. Okay, so what we've done is divided both of these by 2, and we got it as 3k plus k. Now, you've got two solutions. You can have 3k plus k, which we call x being 4k. Or you got the other root, which is going to be 3k minus k. 3k minus k is 2k, so x will give me 2k. Okay. Okay, we can say that. So the equation given your answer in simplified straight form. Okay, so again, 
simplify this one. I will start with the quadratic equation. So the quadratic formula, sorry. So if we say, remember, x equals minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac. Should be familiar with this now. Use the GCSC and now using it at A level, 2A. Now, it's the same process. The only, only thing is it's got thirds in it, but not to worry too much about that. The same process, coefficient of x squared which is a is going to be 2 root 5. The coefficient of x is b, which is, in this case, 3. And the constant, c, is minus root 5. OK, and we're going to sub these in here to get the value of x in a simplified form. So we just need to be a bit careful x equals, now b is going to be negated, so that's going to be a minus 3, plus some minus, squared root of, now we're just going to be careful here, we've got b squared, which is 3 squared, um, in this case it's 9, minus 4, now we're just going to be careful, times ac, a is 2 root 5, And C is minus root 5. So what I can, well, let's just put minus root 5. All over 2A. Which is going to be 2 times 2 root 5. Now what we're going to be careful here is this multiplication here. So I've got, I'm going to times all the numbers first. I've got, first of all, the two negatives are going to make a positive. So that's going to go. And I should know that 4 times 2 times root 5 times root 5. Root 5 times root 5 is just 5. And 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 5. It's going to give me 40. And that's two negatives going to make that positive. So it's going to end up being minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 and 40 all over. Now, 2 times 2 is 4, so that's going to be all over 4 root 5. So let's just simplify this further. We're going to end up with minus 3 plus or minus 49 root all over 4 root 5. Now remember that 49, square root of 49 is just 7. So we can further simplify that and say minus 3 plus or minus 7 all over 4 5. So x can be these solutions. So it says give your answer it's simplified search form. So you've got to be careful there. So let's do them individually. Let's do the first where we're going to add them. So we're going to, we're going to get minus 3 plus 7 over 4 root 5. Now, minus 3 plus 7 is 4. That's 4 take away 3 is, uh, 7 take away 3 is 4. Divided by 4 root 5. Now, the 4s are going to cancel. How many 4s go into 4 is 1. That means 4 is into 4 is 1, so that's going to be 1 over root 5. Now, it says simplified third form, so we're just going to be careful here that we rationalize the denominator by times in top and bottom by root 5. The reason why we do this is root 5 times root 5 is just going to end up with 5. And 1 times root 5 is root 5. So 
this is a simple vibration. Likewise, we're going to end up with the second root, which is going to be minus 3, minus 7, over, over root 5, minus 7, uh, minus 3, minus 7 is minus 10, so 10 maybe to go together, over 4 root 5. Now, I can already simplify what goes into 10 and 4 is 2, so that can be 10s into 2 is 5, so that's going to be minus 5 on top. And at the bottom, I'm going to have 2 root 5. Now, furthermore, I want to rationalize the generator, so what I need to do is times top and bottom by root 5. Top is going to give me minus 5 root 5, and on the bottom, I'm going to end up with root 5 times root 5 is just 5, so 2 lots of 5s is going to give me 10. Now I can further simplify this because I know 5 goes into 5 and 5 goes into 10, so 5 into 5 is 1, so that's going to be minus root 5 over how many 5s into 10 is 2. There we go, we've got two simplified answers in third form. Okay. Okay, it goes here, find the exact solution of this equation. So this is another form, if you want to pause it and have a go. It's another form of using our quadratic formula. So again, don't forget the form, quadratic formula is minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we're going to end up with what is a? a is the coefficient of x squared, which is root 2. b is the coefficient of x, which is going to be 2 root 5. And this is the constant, which is c. It's going to be minus 3 root 2. Just going to be careful. What's the coefficient of x squared and the coefficient of x? Once we establish that, it's just simply sub it into our quadratic formula. So let's just sub it in. So minus b is the same as minus 2. 5 plus or minus b squared so I'm going to be 2 root 5 I'm going to have to square that minus 4 a is root 2 and c is minus 3 root 2 that's going to be 4 square rooted divided by 2a, which is 2 root. All right, so let's just quickly do the calculations here of 2 times 5 squared means times by itself. We've got 2 times 2, which is going to be 4 times root 5 times root 5 is just 5. And that's going to give me 20. And the second part is how we're going to simplify this. So we got uh, 4. Now don't forget the negatives can be taken out. Two negatives make a positive. So I'm going to end up with a plus there in front. Um, just deal with that, take that out straight away, and then do 4 times 3, and do root 2 times root 2. 
So we're going to end up with 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12. And root 2 times root 2 is just 2. And then 12 times 2 is 24. Now, let's sub this in. So we're going to end up with this base here, which is minus 2 root 5. Plus or minus. Now, this 2 root 5 squared is simplified to 20. Minus those two negatives made a positive, so that ends up as plus. And this calculation here ends up as 24. All over 2 root 2. Now, we've got minus 2 root 5 plus or minus root 44 all over 2 root 2. Now, straight away, root 44. Okay, root 44 is the same as 4 times 11 square root. And we can split this up. Square root of 4 is 2. And we end up with 2 root 11. Okay. So let's just quickly put that there. We can call this as minus 2 uh, root 5. We're going to get plus or minus 2 root 11 all over 2 root 2. Now, what we can quickly do is divide everything by 2 as 2 cancels out. So we can just simply call this as 2 will go there. Divide everything top and bottom by 2. How many 2 is going to do? 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that's just going to end up with minus 5 root plus or minus the 2 is gone, so it's just plus or minus root 11 all over root 2. Okay. Now, I'm just trying to see if we can, it does say find the exact solution, that is the exact solution. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is, just to rationalize the denominator, I'm going to times top and bottom by root 2. So, yeah, first of all, let's split this solution, so let's split this up, so x equal, um, Actually, is it worth splitting up? Um, no, it's not worth splitting. Um, I can just multiply top and bottom by two. So, root two. So, I'm going to put brackets around here and multiply top by root two and bottom by root two. So, I'll end up with um, minus root two times root five. Plus or minus root 2 times root 11 all over um, 2. And we can possibly leave it like that. But if you want to put a bit more neater, you call it as minus root 10 plus or minus um, root 22 all over 2. Okay. Okay. Now go ahead, rearrange this formula to make x, uh, find x in terms of y. So y is this. Okay. Now again, this is a quadratic equation. And you just need to rearrange it to set up the quadratic 
into um, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, in this case taking the y to the side, so we end up with getting ax squared plus bx plus c minus y is equal to zero. Now again, just by looking at that, that is now a quadratic equation which is equal to zero. And what we can do is just, as we normally do, sub this into the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus um, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, this is almost the same as that. The only difference is the c has now become, c has now become this, c minus y. So literally when we rearrange the format, x is just going to equal minus b because that's still the coefficient of x and a is still the coefficient of x squared. So it's just minus b plus or minus um, b squared minus 4a. Now c has become c minus y, put the brackets in there. All that square rooted over um, 2a, and a is the same. So really, exactly the same, almost exactly the same as quadratic formula. The only difference is c has been replaced by c minus y, and um, that is it. That's how straightforward it is. Okay, so you had quite a bit of practice on quadratic um, equations, so you'll be able to do some more yourself if you need to practice further.